Welcome everybody to the NFL presidential address for week one of this NFL season. I'm Lawrence Presman and the NFL presidential address this year will be a 10 minute video where we're going to take apart every single game on the board. We're going to fly through them all. We're going to give you bets on almost all of them. There will be some passing along the way. As I said, I'm Lawrence Presman. I'm the co-founder of Wager Talk Media, the owner of wagertalk.com, sportsmemo.com, and the gold sheet. We know betting. Let's get straight into it. Thursday night's game, Baltimore going into Kansas City, and Baltimore is currently plus three. The back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs, will they start the season at home against a hungry and very excited Ravens squad? Bottom line here, Kansas City lost at home to start last year, season 21-20 to to Detroit, and they ended up winning it all. This is not an important game for the Kansas City Chiefs, but a crucial one for Baltimore. Baltimore can make a statement right off the bat, day one, and I think we're going to get their very best. I think Baltimore can win this game straight up, but hey, we're getting three points. Take Baltimore plus the three. Friday night matchup, Green Bay going into Philadelphia. Green Bay here, plus two and a half, a total of 49. And guys, this is a tough game to handicap. I look at this Philadelphia Eagles team and I think, man, they could be one of the best in the league. Or they can shit the bed like they did last year at the end of the season. I don't know what to make of this team. I need a few weeks to see. And I honestly don't buy into the Green Bay Packers right now. This game, well... It would be a pass, but I do lean on the under. Ultimately, I won't be getting to the window, but if you have to make a bet, take under the total of 49. Now we look at the Sunday card. Arizona going into Buffalo. Arizona plus six, a line of 48. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm passing on this game, but if you can find a seven, take Arizona plus the points. Before we get into the rest of the games, I want to point out that I have a big, big play for my clients coming up this Sunday, a 5% play. I do not have many 5% plays. To give you perspective, I've had one 5% bet in the last three months. I have a 5% play in NFL. It's my favorite game of the board. You guys can get that play over at Wager Talk. Promo code PREZ10, P R E Z. 10 and you get $10 off of that play. Please join me for that play. Okay, Carolina playing New Orleans. Carolina plus four, totally here 41 and a half. And let's just get right into this division. It is a mess. These teams suck. And honestly, anytime two crappy teams play against each other and you can get more than a field goal, take the points. With that said, I think the under is the play here as who the hell is going to score. Now, I don't normally look at last week's, last year's results, but man, Carolina ended the year last year with two ducks in a row. For all you cricket fans, you know what a duck is. For the rest of you, that's zero points, two games in a row. And it's not like the Panthers improved their offense. As for the Saints, I think they're going to run a very conservative offense all year long, keep the ball away from Derek Carr as much as possible. Both teams will be looking to just not make mistakes, take under the total of 41 and a half. Now we look at Houston going into Indy. Houston minus two and a half on the road. The total here is 49. And well, Houston came into last year with no pressure on them, and they had a big season. This year, I think, is going to be different. They'll have a lot of pressure on them, and I think we see them regress. Here we have a division dog at home with a QB who's chomping at the bit in Richardson, and we are going to take the points. Yes, you heard me right. I like Indy plus two and a half against Houston. Now we turn our attention to Miami playing Jacksonville. Miami minus three. The total here is 49 and a half. And look, full disclosure, I'm bullish on this Dolphins team. I think they come out of the gate flying. I actually think they win over 10 and a half games on the season. I made that bet. 
So take Miami over 10 and a half wins on the season. I do think we get a better Jacksonville team this year than we did last year. But this is a team that I think will be hard pressed to make the playoffs. I want the better team at home to start the season, only laying three, Miami minus three. And guys, I like the over in this game as well. Beautiful weather, sunny Florida. Miami is a killer offense. Jacksonville will stretch the field, take over the total as well. As for Minnesota and the New York Giants, I am passing on this game completely. I need to see what both these teams are made of. I don't think either of them have defined themselves yet. We're going to wait for the week two to look at these two teams. Now we look at New England going into Cincinnati. New England plus eight and a half. 40 and a half is the total. And I got to look at the under here, guys. I, I, full disclosure, I'm going to be looking at the under in New England games all year long. Regardless of how low this total is, and it is low for a Cincinnati game, the bottom line here is Cleveland, uh, New England has a really good defense and maybe one of the best secondaries in all of football. They have no offense whatsoever. No QB, no wide receivers, not a great running game. I think they're going to play unbelievably conservative football. I think they're going to play ball control football. Bill Parcells, New York Giants-style football. I'm going to see this game go under, and I think it'll go under by more than 10 points. 20 to 10, Cincinnati. That's what I think the final score will be. But rather than betting Cincinnati, take the under. Guys, remember I got a 5% play up this Sunday in NFL. You guys get it for $10 off. Promo code PREZ10. I also have another promo code for you, PREZ100. That's $100 off of my NFL and college football all-access pass. It's a month long, $249. Use the promo code PREZ100 and get $100 off of that package. Let's look at Pittsburgh playing Atlanta. Atlanta minus three, a total of 42 and a half. Okay, guys, here's the bottom line. I think the Falcons win the division. I bet the Falcons to win the division at minus 120. I suggest you make that bet as well. They have weapons all over the field. And if Ca Captain Kirk gels with this team, they should have a big-time offense. As for the Steelers, I think this is the year Tomlin ends with a losing record. I think this team is a mess. I like Atlanta, minus three. Next up is Tennessee against Chicago. And I'm passing on this game completely again. I need to see how these teams define themselves before we can find a bet. As for the Raiders against the Chargers, the Raiders are plus three. The line here, the total is 41. And let me start by saying that I think this Raiders team could be sneaky good. Simply put, they love their coach. And that's important. Other than their QB issues, and who knows, maybe they won't have any. This team is loaded with talent on both sides of the ball. As for the Chargers, this is a wait and see team. I think it's a rebuilding year. They are completely different to last year. They have a new everything except quarterback. I like the Raiders plus three. Now we turn our attention to Dallas plus two and a half versus Cleveland, a total of 42. Okay, I do not get this line. I know the Browns have a great had a great D last year. Did they? Did they really have a great D last year? Sure, they allowed the least amount of yards against them. Who cares? They were middle of the pack in stopping scores. Only they allowed 21 points per game. Their D is overrated. As for their offense, man, Watson might be the worst signing in history of sport. He's going to cripple this franchise, and he doesn't even look very good. As for the Cowboys, people are not high on them. I don't understand why. They are loaded with talent up and down the field. This is a no-brainer pick. Take Dallas plus two and a half. Washington going into Tampa Bay. Washington plus three and a half. That's the bet here. If Daniels plays well for Washington, I think this team might be a lot better than expected. They have defensive problems, that is for sure. But I don't think Tampa Bay is some huge offensive juggernaut. Take Washington plus the three and a half. 
And as for the Rams and Detroit, well, I got a big bet for you guys on that game, a 4% bet. I rarely have 4% bets. So if you want that game, you got to buy my package. And as for the Monday night football game, I will not do any Monday night football bets in the, these videos. So that's it for the daily presidential address. No, for the NFL presidential address, week one. We'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to check out my next video up on Wednesday night. That'll be my best NFL and college football totals of this week. Thanks, everybody. I'm Lawrence Presman.